Some of you haven't multiplied decimals since the Reagan administration, so let's practice. Now you don't have to stack them, that's just for addition or subtraction. So we're going to start on the bottom right there. Okay, 4 times 2, 8. Then 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 4, 16. Now, the second number gets a little hairy, because you may remember you have to put a 0 right there. So once you put it, then you could just do 3 times 2, 6, and carry on your merry way. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 4, 12. From here, you may be thinking, okay, I think it's addition, maybe subtraction, but multiplication is addition. Because 3 times 2, same thing as 3 plus 3, or 2 added 3 times. So therefore, with these guys, we're going to add. And then you'll start on the right side. 8 plus 0, 8. 4 plus 6, 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 6, 7, plus 3, 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 2, plus 2, 4, and 1. Now we're going to take care of the decimal at the end of the problem. You just count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal in the original. 1, 2, 3. Or another way that people do it is they count in 1, 2, like that, and 1, like that, for a grand total of 3. Then it's a reminder you're going to count in 1, 2, 3 to the left for the final, and put it right there. So 14.008, and that is our final answer there. Okay, let's do it. 8 times 5, 40, carry the 4. 8 times 7, 56, plus 4, 60, carry the 6. 8 times 9, 72, plus 6, 78. And then, don't forget your zero, and then you're good. Okay, 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 7, 7. And 1 times 9. Then, let's add these up. Right side, 0, 5. 8 plus 7, 15. Carry the 1. And then you could do a little 1 plus 9 action. 10 plus 7, 17. Okay, let's count the decimals. Top number, 3 of them. Middle one, or bottom number, one of them. Grand total of four. Count from right to left, and right there. By the way, if these are written next to each other, you'll always stack the one that has less numbers underneath, and then you can do it like that. Let's check out a division one here. What is the value of this? Now we're going to use long division. Which one goes where for this problem? If you were thinking 2 on the outside, that's right. And then 10 on the inside. In other words, whatever you're dividing by, that thing goes on the outside. Okay, so 0 0.03 <clears throat> on the outside, the other one on the inside. You're going to go ahead and move it to the end of the number on the outside. So two places to the right. That'll just turn it into a whole number, 3. Since we moved it twice to the right, we're going to move the one on the inside twice to the right, right there. And then you can just bring it straight up. From here, this is the same thing as this problem. Much cleaner, much nicer. So just to recap, you move the decimal, then you get into the division. Now, 3 into 5. That one's just going to go one time. So we did the division. And then multiplication, 1 times 3. 3. Then you're going to move to subtraction. So you're always going to do them in that order over and over again. Okay, subtracting those two, we get 2. But this is where you bring down the next number. So 24. 3 into 24, 8. 8 times 3, 24. Subtract, 0. And we'll go ahead and bring down the next number. But let's pause here because this is important. 3 doesn't go into 2, so therefore it goes in 0 times. So if you bring down the helper number, but it still doesn't help, then it's got to be a 0 there. Okay, now no worries, we're just going to keep going. Let's put our decimal, and let's bring down the 7 instead. Okay, 3 into 27, that'll go 9 times. 9 times 3, 27, no remainder, and that is it. 
Once you bring down the last number, you don't have a remainder, then that is our answer, 180.9. One way to contextualize this is how many times can three cents go into $5.42? You could just think of it like money. And it can go in 180 times, so that's why that answer makes sense. And our last one. Now you may be thinking, hey man, what's the deal? I thought this was a decimal video. What's with the fractions? Well, we're going to convert them into decimals. That'll be the easiest way to compare these. So once again, we're going to use long division here. But the way we could say this is 4 divided by 5. So therefore, 5 is on the outside, 4 on the inside. Okay, how many times can 5 go into 4? Well, it's a little discouraging because 0 times. 0 times 5, 0, subtract, and we get right back to where we started. But lucky for us, we got an ace up our sleeve, because 4 is the same thing as 4.0. So therefore, we could bring down the 0, continue on. Now, if you're not sure how many times 5 goes into 40, you could just count by 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... Bring up the decimal, and 8 times. So 8 times 5, perfect 40. Subtract those, but no remainder, so we're done. In other words, 4 fifths is the same thing as 0 0.8. Then we got 90 cents, 80 cents, 77 cents. So we're well on our way. But in terms of money, 3 over 4, same thing as 3 quarters. So that's actually 75 cents there. But let's go ahead and verify it. We'll do our long division here. So there it is. There's our 75 cents, and we're good. So finally, smallest to biggest, we got 75 cents. It's going to start with 3 fourths. Could be B, could be D. But then the next one's got to be 0.77. So it's got to be B. Because then 4 fifths. 80 cents, 90 cents, and we're good. So keep an eye out for all of these types for the no calculator section. Good luck. Let me know what issues you run into. You got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.